All right, all right. So we're going to have an honest review of my lifestyle campers icon. I've done a couple of trips in it now, and there's a few things I'd improve, and there's a, quite a lot of things I like. But I'll take you through the actual review and most of the features of the camper. So first thing, I'll start off with this Alco off-road hitch. I'm pretty disappointed. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, if I have the money, I will upgrade it. It's just the whole dust gets into it and the cap and that of popping it in it sometimes doesn't lock in and you're not sure and you have to double check it and that's a safety thing where I, I, I would love to know every time that that thing's hooked on properly but yeah that's the Alco hitch not impressed with the protective coating on the drawbar and underneath you might be able to see you can see it's chipped away from all the stone chips that have hit it so the coating you can see it's flaked off there it's not the best coating on it but you can always fix that with a raptor coat or something like that jockey wheel i actually love the jockey wheel that's it's robust it's heavy duty it does the job it swings away nice and easily yeah i can't fault the arc jockey wheel handbrake that's beautiful just typical handbrake um, the storage for the gas bottles uh, the four liters are a little bit awkward to get in there but I'd rather have two four, to four litre gas bottles in there. You do get dust in there, but it's got to have a hole in there for your gas and regulations and it's past standards and stuff like that. But that's great. Um, protective thing, that's great. I'll take you around here. So that's the storage. You can, people put jerry cans and all kinds of stuff in there. We just keep our poles and other miscellaneous stuff, the matten. I've got some gas cans, but the top one goes all the way through to the other side. The bottom one only goes in about, I don't know, a metre. So that's, that's handy. That's good little storage. The fridge slide, it's good. Other than that, you do lose your little captive nuts on the end here. So I'm always finding myself looking for them around the van just for that lever. But it's a big slide. You can fit a big 80 litre on there. We've only got a 40, because I've got another 40 in the patrol. But that's a good slide. You have to have your fridge slide out for the bunk, if you have the bunk model. And they do have um, a close off point here, but it doesn't fully close it off, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. You still get a gap down the bottom here. So if you're in a spot where there's lots of mosquitoes and bugs and all that, they're probably gonna get inside your van, so. I've got to figure out a way to fully enclose that. But that's simple to slide it in. Locks in away. You've got your LED light there for bridging that as well. Um, next thing is the storage. The storage in this van is is 100% the best storage I've seen in this kind of style of hyper camper, hybrid kind of camper. You've got all this storage here for your um, pantry and stuff like that. So you've got top shelf, as you can see we keep our salts, peppers, cups, keep most of our food in there. Goes in pretty deep, you've also got lights in all your little storage compartments as well. We've got our Manager 30, which you might have seen the video on there, if you haven't, there's a video to watch of the install of that. I got a 240 volt outlet put, out, put on the outside here, so I can have my toaster, kettle sitting on here and yeah, have toast kitchen area so you've got storage here for all your cutlery and stuff like that so there's two drawers here you can see we got charging points so we've got iPads and stuff to put on charge here we've got our water levels you've got two tanks in here two 80 litre tanks they're all digital which is pretty cool you've got your isolator switch more storage there just some miscellaneous stuff both those drawers come out you've got more storage down the bottom here you can't fit very much in there because your know, kitchen actually slides away in there, but you've got lights in there. Keep fire extinguisher in here. Now you've got switches. We've got the dust suppression system in here. So I can turn the dust suppression on for dusty roads and stuff like that. You've got your fridge, water pump. Good flow. Um, DC outlets. So you've got DC outlets on this side over here and inside the van for your fridge and near the bed as well. LED lights. 
So you've got lights obviously set around in the fridge. You've got two up the top, one on both ends and two on the other side as well. See in the sink, that's just a simple, it's only cold water. Click the switch, adjustable. You do have a point here for your hot water systems where you can put your shower cap here, not shower cap, your shower head, hook it on, turn it on, and you've got hot water for your sink and all that. All right, the Dometic gas cooker, it's a little bit too small. It's hard to have a big pan on here and try to cook something on this side because you, you can't fit two pans really on here. So I'd, I'd like a bigger cooker on that, but you, you can have another cooker here. Yeah, it's it's not the best cooker, but it does its job. You have an extra table here. We put our gas cooker, coffees, drinks, phones. Um, your water outlet for your taps and all that hooks into underneath. So we've got our water field hooked up in here. You've just got to change the fittings around on that. So we hook it straight up to there. You can hook it to your taps if you're at caravan parks, but you just get the easy quick connections, hook, hook in your water, and off you go. Your gas hooks into here as well, so you've got a cord that's permanently mounted in there, roll it up, take it out, and you've got your gas fittings around the other side. Um, geez, I'll talk about the awning actually, I totally forgot about the awning. So it's uh, not the best awning, I, I would prefer a roll out awning that's manually done or automatic. It's pretty much like a car awning, so I'd say it takes about three minutes to set up. But it's, it leaks sometimes, and if you're doing long trips, you just want an awning that you can just quickly set up, put out, sit underneath of it. You do get your guy ropes that pull it down, but your middle poles around here, they move around. And if you hear that at night, it's gonna keep you up for a while. So it's not the best awning on it. I, I would I would upgrade to a different awning if you're going to get an Icon van. The newer models do have a, another awning, but for people with a 2019, 2020 model, I'd get rid of this awning. I'll take you around to the back of the van. So this is the outlets I'm talking about. Your middle one's your water one. It's a quick connect. And you got two gas ones, bayonets, so they're quick connect as well. You get dust covers on them. That's handy. I would prefer to have them, say, on the side of the van because you're going to get lots of dust on the back of the van, obviously. And it does the dust caps do not do 100% job of getting the gap, um, sand and all that out. So you do have to spray them out, give them a blowout because the connections do get the grittiness in there. Um, we have the easy lift system on the icon here. That's the one good thing about this. You can undo your four latches and one push and that, that thing's up, which is handy. And then just your drill and drill it down. It is noisy. So if you're leaving early in the morning, maybe just use your um, tool to bring it down. Another handy thing is the awning. Not awning, shower tent. I do like the shower tent. So it's pretty simple, flip it over, under your middle strap, let it roll down, let's see if I get this right, bring that out, bring that one on the way out, and you swing it out, and that's your shower tent, so you can peg it down, sometimes we leave it open, we, um, we usually store all the porta potty in here, but you can have your hot water system sit here, connect to your water and have a shower. So there is, I don't know if you're going to be able to get a shot of that, there is. Do you want to hop in the shower with me? I will. <laughs> so there is spots where to put your, hook your shower head up and you can put your soap in there. You can have the shower head on your left hand side, right hand side. And yeah, it's it's I do like I do like the shower. So that's a you can lock it in, I just obviously haven't locked it in. And then you just roll it back up. 
All right, after a little bit of technical difficulties, we got the other side of the van. Other side? O other side, other side. So, you get these canvas little <clears throat> inserts on the door here. We keep our spare parts and stuff in there. Now, the storage in this is phenomenal. You get lighting in here as well, and that's pretty much from, say, there, back, the whole van is storage. So we keep a lot in there. We keep the gas cooker. We've got another table there that connects onto the back of the um, kitchen there. Um, yeah, all our kids stuff, all the wheel stuff. You get another little, oh, it's locked. You get another little entry point in there. Um, dust suppression system. So I've talked about that before, but that just sucks in the air and pressurizes the whole van. That's where we've connected our 240. That goes into there, into a 240 outlet. And um, the major 30 connects into that. That's one of the tanks, the front tank. Storage there, the other one's on the other side. I didn't show you that. But yeah, you obviously got your two lights here. The gas strut for the easy lifts, lift system. Um, this side I'm happy with. Besides the tires, I'd probably upgrade the tires. I don't know the brand of those. They're mud terrain, but they look like just a cheap set that you can just get from anywhere. I'd probably upgrade those once they wear out. Um, storage on the other side. So that's where we just keep leveling ramps, hoses, toilet paper, and the rest of the poles. So that's from the other side. Clearance lights, you've got your mud flaps also at the front and at the two wheels. Um, I'll take his in the inside and have a look as well. So there's there's a lot of good things with these vans. There's only a couple of little things that um, I'm not happy with, but I don't know if I've told you, so you get storage on your door, so we keep all like first aid kits, all Emma's hair stuff, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, here's your switches for all your lights in your van. So you got your internals. I probably haven't put my LED lights on. So you do have to flick your two LED switches at the kitchen there to turn on your lights. So interior, passenger, front and back, and driver's side. More 240 outlets. So it's a USB and your Siggy plug. I've had the 240 installed there. And if you just want to jump in, we'll have a look. Another thing actually, is I'd love a handle. You need a handle, because it's so high up, off-road vans. It's pretty low here, but if you're on a free campsite, it'd be nice to have a handle, or even a step. One of those fold-out steps, but you may hit it, you may not. It's each and everyone's opinion, but I'd love a handle right there just to get up, because I'm an old man. Right. Come, come into the van with me. All right, all right. So, inside the van. Um, you've got your bunks, we've had like a kid proof thing, the people installed it, didn't put it all the way, I don't know why, so you've got gaps on either side, so it's pretty much pointless, but yeah, I'm pretty disappointed in that, I wish it went to both sides and maybe velcroed up there to stop your toddler or little kid rolling out because you don't want to have your fridge out all the time. You get two LED lights, one here and one behind the cameraman. Um, windows there is a lot of windows one there two on each side and one at the back you got handles i have never used them before because i lift it from outside we've got the socorro fan i think that's how you pronounce it so that lifts down folds and i think there's three settings on it so yeah um, I think you can adjust the way it goes. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to break it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, you loving that cameraman? It's awesome. All right. So, yeah, that's, I love the fan being there. I'd love it. Oh, my finger. I'd love it if the van come with aircon and a heater. But, yeah, it didn't. I think you can get it below. Um, aircon and heater unit and store it somewhere there's a lot of storage underneath the bed or you can get the top one but I think you have to upgrade the lift roofing lift 
roof lifting system but chair you get a queen size bed that's the great thing about it it's a big bed you get windows on each side of your bed good size bed chair you get storage underneath your chair so we keep the porta potty in there and you also get four drawers underneath here as well so you can keep your clothes and that in there as well um, I think that's the inside of van. I can't think of anything else. So here's the other windows. So you've got one right over here. Now you got, so you got your privacy one. You can flip that up. You have it fully open. So you can flip these off. That one's already done. And you can open them up and screw them down. And have your ventilation. And you got your fly screen as well. So that's handy. And it's, I like being able to lay here early in the morning, just look out the window. I really like, watch the fire, watch what other people are doing. That's creepy. But I like having the windows right there in your bed. So that's on either side. You do have, yeah you do, you, so you've got some more 12 volt outlets at your bed there. So you can charge your phone while you're watching in, in bed on a rainy day. Right, so you got... Um, like a ledge next to your bed on both sides, so store your phone there. We keep William's little sleep. I don't know what you call that sleep white noise thing because William sleeps here with us. Um, so, yeah, you can store water, anything. So, that's on both sides. The one on the left hand side is thicker than the one on the right hand side, but you can still store your, store your phone on the right hand side. So, that's the inside, I think. If you've got any more questions, hit me in the comments below and I'll answer them for you, but we'll pop outside. Oh. All right, all right, so that's my review of my lifestyle Icon Hyper Camper. There is some good, there is some bad. I do like it, I don't regret buying it. So if you've got any more questions, hit me in the comments below. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. All right, all right. Oh. All right, all right. So the last bit, I've got the film, but is the off-road suspension. So it's the independent suspension. Obviously, two shockies and your coil, independent on each end. Um, review of it, I... I do, I don't like it. I haven't had any problems with it yet, it, but it's a no-name brand. So it's it's a thought in the back of my head while I'm traveling that I hope my suspension doesn't go, but it hasn't gone yet. And yet is the key word. So I'd like to see it upgraded with, you know, a brand of Cruise Master, Lovell, something like that to get upgraded. But it's just another thing with the Lifestyle Campers Icon model that it is a no-name brand suspension setup. It is independent, so it can get swapped out with a better brand, heavier duty, kind of coil spring suspension in it. And obviously underneath there's stone chips as well where the protective coating on the chassis is come off with the stone chips. So yeah, the protective coating on them isn't the best, but you can fix that yourself with a rub back and a spray. Um, there is two 80 litre poly tanks underneath. There's one at the back right above the camera here and one at the front and that's pretty much all there is underneath a um, lot of stuff is hidden away a lot of wiring is hidden away inside the sh uh, inside the chassis so that's a good point with it and you got your stabilizer legs with it as well um, you're probably going to need chocks for them because if you're on really unlevel site the legs aren't long enough to stabilize and hit the ground but yeah that's that's suspension underneath the van any questions ask in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe